I've actually heard people say that Israel failed in their mission, they were not a light to the world, but that's actually not true. Just think about Paul, just one Jewish man, and look at how God used him and, and obviously the 12 apostles, and how God used them to reach the world, a remnant. And so it doesn't take a lot. And when I think about what's going on here at Israel College of the Bible, God is at work. My name is Seth Postel. I'm the academic dean at Israel College of the Bible. And I just wanted to share with you just, you know, just a couple of, of stories of just how God is actually working here at the Bible College. When we think about our Bible College, obviously we don't have thousands or hundreds of thousands of students. We have 80 to 100 students every year, but they come here very passionate about the Word of God and excited to be living in the land of Israel. And we're talking about both Jews and Arabs who love Jesus. And they come and they study God's word. And unlike uh, Bible students from other places in the world, they come here already knowing Hebrew, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. Usually uh, people don't start learning biblical Hebrew until seminary, which is their master's degree. Our students come already knowing uh, Hebrew. So this year we've actually had an amazing year studying Greek and our students, we have a handful of students that have absolutely excelled in ways that just are remarkable. And so after just one year, they're already reading the Greek New Testament. One of our students did so well that the author of the textbook in English, a very well-known Greek scholar, actually asked this student uh, to translate this textbook in modern Hebrew, which will be the first modern Hebrew textbook to learn biblical Greek. It's quite phenomenal. We have another student who actually so much loved Greek that now he's actually doing intensive Greek studies this summer in a special institute and will continue to do that. And so here are a couple of instances and stories of students that actually will have the tools to provide textbooks and, and theology and interpretation for the church here in the land of Israel. So it's really quite spectacular. Another one of our students is actually very gifted in apologetics. And so not only is he getting trained here, but he's using his training to write many articles on our website in Hebrew to talk about apologetics, to talk about messianic prophecy, to talk about theology. And so I can honestly say that God is really at work. Again, we don't need a lot of numbers just like the apostles were few in number and they reached the world. And so we see that our, our students are coming here and doing outstanding work in their studies and making a big impact uh, in the church here in Israel. Uh, in the last couple of years, interestingly enough, we've also actually had eight Israelis that have actually gone through, not only did their masters here, but also did their doctorates. And now that, you know, they're pastors and teachers here at the college. And so obviously with the restrictions here, it limits what we can actually do in classrooms. And it limits the fact that we can't spend as much personal face-to-face -face time with our students. We obviously are trying our best when the restrictions are permitted that, to bring students in and we're using Zoom, but it adds a whole new dimension to, to training people theologically, to discipling our students. And so we really need prayer this year. And, and one of the things I would ask you to pray about too is that in moving more things to online, we actually believe that it's going to expand our outreach. And so you can also pray that as a result of us moving more and more things online, that we'll actually have a greater appeal to the body throughout the land of Israel and bring in more students than we ever imagined so that this corona crisis will actually then become for us a corona opportunity. So thank you so, so much for your prayers.